Welcome to the Naughty Bitch Pirate Circus. I am Quid. The unusual to my immediate left is our captain, Miss Silver Furry. Say hi, Silver. Hi, hi Silver. That's right. What? This is an audience participation show. If you do not participate, the show will tank and you will hate us. We are from Michigan. You may already hate us. I'm from here. <laughs> so let's not make it any worse and watch for the subtle applause cues like this. Now what Diane is going to do, she's going to climb into this metal hoop. She's going to twist, she's going to twine, she's going to pose prettily, at which point you must say things like, ooh, or ah. Or if you really like it, you can just start chanting, go, dang it, go. Go, dang it, go. All around it, go. Seeking, backs breaking, legs aching, neck, and this already ship is a huge breaking wreck. Ten thousand miles with this. So I do it by taking my temperature. Because if I was sick, I would have a fever, wouldn't I? So I will now take my temperature with this meat thermometer. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> I don't need your pity. I mean, I'll take it, but I don't need it. <laughs> the reason why you're not impressed by that is because that is not the most accurate way to take a human being's temperature. To accurately take a human being's temperature, you have to stick the thermometer somewhere else. Fortunately, this is a meat thermometer, which means we need to stick it into a large chunk of meat, which I have brought with me today. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, my God. Now the question. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Look me in the eye and tell me that you're all right. I'm concerned about your health and well-being. Okay, is it normal? We're in the food room. I got a turkey leg. We got, this thing's called the dragon scale. We got some mushrooms, or drunken mushrooms, or cooked in white wine, a scotch egg, some fries. I just got a little buffet. But things to try. Turkey leg. Mr. Turkey Leg's going home with me. Dad's gonna eat the rest of the mushrooms. How was your sandwich? It was very good, really. I got a, he ate the dragon scale thing because it's a little spicy for me, but now we're both full. There's still a huge line waiting to get to the turkey legs and here's their menu up there. Her backpack has a dragon head on it and she's got a whole dragon on her back. So cool. And over here juggling fire. Let's get closer. Pirate in front of me, so sorry.
daggers in there too. We're gonna get back on the tree. And I found I know, a table of dragons. I got chopsticks and fans and I just can't get in there. I can't I can't move around in there, so the queen just went by but I missed her. He's very leathery. Let's go to the next booth. Let's see what we got over here. Treasure stones and magic wands and stuff. We're outside! This it's is okay. the pirate stage. You're outside voices! That means you can scream. So we're gonna try that again in your best outside voices on the count of three, okay? So everybody out there knows we're doing a show over here. Right, so it's all up to you. Right, no pressure. Yeah. Okay. We know you got it in you though. Here we go. Ready? Best outside voices, ready? What? Two, three! And you're missing it! <laughs> All right, you're amazing. We're going this way. Lost Dad on it. Where he's at? Ooh, I see something over here. Hey. Kids get let loose in there and they can beat each other up. <laughs> what? Is that a mask? It is a mask. Yes, Mom. Wow! Would you like to see it worn? Yes, I would. If you don't would you mind me filming you. That's perfectly fine. Great. I'm sure you get a lot of that when you're here, huh? I'm used to it. Okay. See this little wedge right here? That is crazy. She's going to turn into a, is that a fox? It's a fox. I've got it designed. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That's awesome. Did you make that? I did. Oh, you're very talented. You could be like a sexy fox. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I made it without a lower jaw, so if anybody needs to. They just whip it right off. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Look at the beautiful... No. The beautiful cloaks over here. No, we're getting ready to go. Look at that one. I love that one. Oh, beautiful. Little tiny hats. If I was here, I would so put a tiny hat on. Okay, we're going to be heading out. Just got in the van, but Dad had to use my scooter to go back into the Renaissance Festival because he had a pee attack. So he said, just come on me. I need to use your scooter. I got to run back in. <laughs> so he's booking himself to the restrooms. I just went over there and talked to the horses a little bit. I know one's name is Rex. I don't know what the other one's name is. Uh... Rex was Sir Richard's horse, who was the knight that we were rooting for. A lot of cool costumes here, a lot of fun, a lot of cute little, cute little Renaissance fair, that is for sure. And I will come back next year if it isn't 100 degrees. A lot of shade here, which is nice. There are some sunny spots, you can't tell. I did put on a little sunscreen earlier. Um, but yeah, this is our first year in this location. And I've asked several of the people who have come every year how they like it. And they're like, they really like it down here. A lot more space for them, they said. And they love that there's the river running behind them. And so maybe they'll have it again here again next year. Who knows? It's a nice little location. So I have most of my turkey leg left for tonight for dinner. That thing was huge. Giant turkey leg. And, uh... That was my first renaissance experience. Kitty, say hi to everybody. We're home. That was a cute little renaissance fair. I, they had uh, a renaissance zone, the queen's outfit. It was beautiful. I don't know if I ever got a picture or video of her. And then there was the pirates area and the Vikings area and the fairy tale area. 
They had stage shows all over and people come and beautiful costumes. She's like, Mama, I missed you. Now I have to, I must lick you. The only thing I bought to bring home was my turkey leg because it was massive. And um, uh, some deodorant. This one woman had a booth with like natural soaps and liquid soap and bar soap and different pretty sprays and like are those really deodorants she's like yeah I smelled one yeah smelled another one yeah and I smelled one I'm like ooh, it was orchid pear oh my goodness it smelled so good I said I kind of want to shove it up my nose but I won't but I want to <laughs> she's laughing I said I want one of these so uh, once my lavender I have is gone I'll be having some orchidy pear pits going on she said yeah that's my favorite she said I like the girly smell and I'm like this smells so good everybody there was so nice and I, I talked to so many people who've done it every year and traveling like wandering musicians and acts and just uh, it was fun a very fun day now me and dad are both ready for naps turn the air on because we're just a little a little just around the edges I'm spitzy put my shorts on already bra's already disintegrated it's gone kitty what are you doing kitty kitty what are you doing over there that you're not supposed to be doing just get myself a bottle of water I'm gonna down that because I thirsty okay bye